Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I've partnered up with Sephora inside JCPenney to take you guys with me in store on my holiday haul. And I'm gonna be sharing some products with you guys that are on my wish list. All these products in this video are on my wish list. There are things that I really want that I think would make great gifts and we're gonna have so much fun in this video because I'm gonna be using these products to create a makeup look with you guys. So if you wanna come shopping with me, then keep on watching. Hey guys, so we are in front of Sephora inside JCPenney and they have so much makeup, so many amazing gifts and I'm ready to start my haul. We're gonna get a lot of stuff and check out some of their new products. So let's do it, let's go in. All right, you guys, so I have my shopping bag and I am ready to check out some of their products and do a little shopping, so let's do it. I got my Sephora haul and I got so many amazing products today. I'm so excited to play with everything. So let's head back and I'm gonna share with you guys everything I got today. So I'm back home with all of my goodies. I am super excited to start playing with everything. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is prepping my skin and I'm gonna be using the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream from Ole Henriksen. And I actually have tried this before in a travel size and I loved it. And what I really like about it is that it is a gel cream so it soaks into the skin really nicely. It won't like sit on top or anything, not to mention the smell of it. It smells like oranges, like, or something citrusy. I just love the scent of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a bit of this before I put on my foundation. Just gonna rub that into my skin. It has like this cooling feeling in my opinion. And this cream is pretty universal. I mean, I have combination oily skin and I love it. My dad also uses this, so it's not just for makeup lovers. It can really be a gift for anyone. It's just a very like universal kind of cream. What I also really like about it, just to give you guys a lowdown on the cream, if you have dry patches, it will immediately take those away once you rub this on top. Like if you have like little dry skin patches around your face, once you apply it, it just smooths everything out and it just makes the skin look a lot more hydrated. What I really love about this time of year is the Sephora Favorites makeup must-haves and inside, there's pretty much everything you need to complete a look. There is lipstick, mascara, lashes, eyeliner, highlighter, primer. There is a setting mist and a blush. So there's a lot of stuff in here. The great thing about the makeup must have set is that if you look right on the corner of this, it says Sephora Inside JCPenney. And when you see that on your set, you know it's an exclusive to Sephora Inside JCP. So you're not gonna find this anywhere else, so extra special. And you never know what's inside, then you have to go in store to check them out. Personally, I think this is a really great gift for a makeup lover. There's everything in it that you would need to like complete a look. And you get this really cute bag. This is like a bronzy glitter makeup bag. So that's also a plus about getting the Sephora favorites. Most of them do come in like these bags. We have the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer. That's the one I'm gonna be using. We have an Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in the shade Party. We have some lashes in here and these are from Huda Beauty and the style Harmony. There's a setting mist from from Tarte, and this is the Rainforest of the Sea 4-in-1 Setting Mist. We have the Highliner Gel Eyeliner from Marc Jacobs. There is a lipstick from Anastasia, and this is the matte lipstick in the shade Buff. We have an Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, and we have a Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Starstruck, and this is the shimmer stick, so this is gonna be like a cream highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin with the Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer from Too Faced. I was shopping for some foundations when I was at Sephora inside JCPenney and I actually got color matched while I was there. So it's really nice that they have the color IQ in store. So they just take a little picture of your skin and they can match you to a range of different foundations. I'm gonna be using the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Yukon.
The palette we are going to be using is the Christmas Dreams palette, and this is a limited edition makeup collection. And just like the Sephora favorites makeup must-haves, this set has almost everything you need inside to create a look. It has so much stuff. There is a lip gloss, and this is an ultra plush lip gloss, a better than sex mascara, and there's also a deluxe hangover setting spray inside. And it comes with a really cute bag. It has little swans on it. So here are the shades inside the palette. Really pretty colors, a lot of eyeshadows. And then along the side are the face powder. So there's a bronzer, two blushes, and a highlighter. I'm first gonna pick up this pink shade here called Kissmas. And I'm gonna be applying that into my outer corner and I'm gonna bring that into my crease. I'm just gonna swirl that right into the bridge of the nose. Really wanna do like a cut crease with this look today. So this is gonna be like the main like pop of color. I wanna use like a lot of the rose golds in this palette because they're so pretty. I'm just bringing a little bit of that shade Kissmas onto the lower lash line. I'm next gonna grab this shade here called Son of a Nutcracker. Cute names. It's like a warm brown. and then just bringing a little bit of that shade onto the lower lash line. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm gonna go ahead and blend out any harsh edges just to blow all this color out on the lid. I'm gonna take this matte bone colored shade called Snowball Effect and I'm gonna pop that right on the brow bone. I'm gonna take a bit of concealer and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my crease. For the lid, I'm gonna be picking up the shade Keep Your Hands to Your Elf. And I'm gonna be using the Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer Spray. And I'm gonna wet my brush with this. And I'm just gonna apply this shade about halfway onto the lid. I'm gonna be using this next shade called Selfies. It has like a little elf wording in it. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and wet the brush again. And now I am using the dark brown in the palette called Here for the Hose, Too Faced. Too Faced is so funny. I'm gonna be applying Here for the Hose in the outer corner of my eye. Just kind of a little smokiness in there. I'm just applying it right into the outer corner and I'm gonna go ahead and bring it very subtly into the crease. And to pop right on the center of the lid to blend those shades together, I'm gonna use the shade Wrap It Up. And this color is like my heart and soul. This is probably my favorite color in the whole palette. It's such a pretty like peachy copper shade. For the inner corner, I'm gonna use the shade Twinkie. I'm gonna grab the must-have set and I'm gonna be using the highlighter from Marc Jacobs. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this eyeliner to that lower lash line. And I'm gonna add in that shade I'm here for the hose and just smoke that out with a flat brush. And I'm gonna throw in a little bit of the shade Christmas Cookie right beneath the dark brown. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara and I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And after I've applied that, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the Huda Beauty Lashes. And these are in the style Harmony. So basically the Harmony Lashes are like individual lashes. They're all split up right here. And I've never tried lashes like this before, like ever. But I really like the way they look. They're very like wispy and they do give off like this cat eye look it kind of makes your eye look really long i do really like them they like give lift to the eye and you can place them wherever you feel like they would look the best which gives you like a lot of control for bronzer i'm going to be using chestnuts roasting in the dream queen palette and i'm just going to apply that bronzer on my forehead and then to my cheeks kind of where i would contour but i'm just going to 
warm up my skin a little bit with this. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Matchsticks in Starstruck, and I'm just applying this on the center of my nose. And I'm gonna apply some to my cheeks as well, like on the high points. And for blush, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Party. I'm gonna go back into the Dream Clean palette from Too Faced and I'm gonna be using the Snow Extra highlighter. And to set my face, I'm gonna be using the Rainforest of the Sea 4-in-1 Setting Mist from Tarte. Ooh, it smells really good. So I'm first gonna go in with this lipstick from ABH and this is the Buff Matte Lipstick. And I'm gonna go over top with the Too Faced Pink Swan Lip Gloss, and this was inside the Christmas Dream set. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know down below in the comments